very big thank you to the organizers of International Student Challenge. It was an excellent event which was organized. We had more than 1,200 students which were participating and of which then finally we selected six teams. Enjoyed the uh, whole event quite a lot and it was great learning. Uh, it was, you know, it was so exhilarating to see these teams present such good ideas, the confidence they had about their ideas, the way they presented it. You know, being an entrepreneur now myself, a lot of entrepreneurial energy and uh, thoughts coming up, which is great for India as a nation, India as a country. Also, uh, you know, trying to relate where AI is exactly uh, impactful, uh, because a lot of stuff uh, can be done without necessarily using AI. So if it is an AI hackathon and you are trying to build an AI, then you also need to think of uh, what's my use case for AI, right? So, and what component of AI am I using? And you know, it, it is always enjoyable to be the part on the other side of the table. So uh, all the ideas, I observed that all the ideas of the students were very good. Amazing teams, full of enthusiasm, energy. A lot of great ideas, but I could see they started with a smile on the face and the smile vanished. But as we say, this is just the beginning of the new phase of their life. Life will throw a lot more challenges. They'll have get a lot more opportunities. And the journey is important, not just the result. More than a judge, today I felt like a student. So it was a six hours of AI learning class for me. And I'm very uh, contented at the end of uh, the six hours of uh, the national finale. All the use cases, projects presented today have tremendous value. I think each team needs to take it to the next level, whether with, with the help of Sopra Steria or with the help of their university or on their own. Uh, from today's presentations, what was lacking, uh, how, where can they improve? I think uh, my co-judges posed very relevant questions to them and I think they should take it as a feed forward. So it was a tough decision for all of us to choose the one which is the best. Of course, only one team can represent India. But the fact is, all of them were brilliant students and I'm sure they will achieve a lot of accolades in the future. So I think my advice to them would be chin up, keep your spirit high and I'm sure we would all be applauding you in a few years. I wish all the six teams the very best, especially the winning team uh, because now they're going to participate in Madrid for the finals out of eight countries and I hope uh, they become the winners. Mm -hmm.